टूडेज टॉपिक इज थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स and before we go into the details <clears throat> let's see some terminologies which is uh what is an isothermal process this is a process when where temperature is kept constant then another is isobaric this is where iso means same <clears throat> bar means pressure where pressure is maintained constant next is isochoric iso means same choric means volume <clears throat> this is a process where volume is kept constant and fourth is adiabatic adiabatic means when no heat is taken out of the system or added to the system we can say that <clears throat> the system is thermally insulated okay now there are certain laws of thermodynamics what are they the first law is what it says is the internal energy of any substance can be increased by giving heat to it and if the system work does some work that much amount of heat is subtracted out of the the internal energy decreases by this much this is the so if we apply let us say dq heat to the system and system does some dq work which comes as a out of the work then the net heat given is this minus this which is which is equivalent to the change of internal energy since <clears throat> this is a balance of energies this is also called this law is also called law of conservation of energy if we add heat the internal energy will increase if the system does some work work is done out of the system so internal energy will decrease by the same amount let's see a cyclic process you may have a state a and this is state b you can go in many ways you can go like this you can go like this you might even like to go like this you may like to go like this many ways so if you go from a to b by via any route dq 
change in DQ. Sorry. Change in internal energy. Remains same. For example, if I reach B via this route, or via this route, the change in internal energy is same. Now, we, if we extend our arguments slightly further, if we go from A to B, We go A to B via AD, then DB, A to D, then D to B, then B to C, then C to A. So we are back to square one. What will be the change in internal energy in this case? Change in internal energy in a cyclic process is zero. Because you are back to the same state. There is no change in internal energy. What is the second law of this law does not have any empirical relationship, rather, it only has some interpretation. And which is, this basically says that it is not possible to design an engine which works in a cyclic process and whose only result is to take heat from, from a body at, at a single temperature and are not completely into mechanical energy. It says it is not possible to design an engine which works in a cyclic process. Cyclic process we have already seen, a process wherein a process comes back to its original state, taking any part doesn't matter. In such a case, if there is an engine which, which works in a cyclic process and whose result is to take heat from a body at a single temperature and convert it completely to a mechanical energy, it is not possible. This law is also stated in another form and which is No process is possible whose, whose result is the transfer of heat from a older Object to a okay. <clears throat> object. Says no, <clears throat> no process is possible wherein you take away heat from a folder object 
to a hotter object. Now, <clears throat> let's see, there are various type of work done. <clears throat> if, if the process is isothermal, then work done is equal to since the process is isothermal, we know PV is equal to NRT. And uh, we can also write this as integral of not in dv is also equal to not goes from one to two. We could take out T from this integration portion because T was constant. So this whole NRT comes out and integral of one over V is this. Second case is work done in an adiabatic process. Adiabatic process means no heat given to the system or no heat taken out of the system. So we know okay and this is given as integral of a into the power gamma we know by gas laws p to the power gamma is constant so p is equal to k by k by k this value of p we are substituting here now if we integrate it what you get is k times v power will be goes from v1 to v2. <clears throat> this is equal to k times What if we take K inside this term if we reverse the sign and we get this term over this term is nothing but P1 over and this term is nothing but So this is the work done in an adiabatic process. Where gamma is 
gamma is given by this relationship. PV power of gamma is constant. What is the work done in an isochoric process? Again, our DW is equal to. In an isochoric process, the volume doesn't change. So when this doesn't change, this work will done will be zero. If we take isobaric process, again dW is equal to TDV integral. This can be written as T. Because you know, <clears throat> PV is an RT. So, now in this case, if you differentiate both the sides, P is constant, N is constant, R is constant, DT. So PDV can be replaced by NRDT, which we have done here. So this becomes NRS constant T going from T to T2. So this becomes NR T2 minus T. Or it can be also written as whichever form you wish you can use. Now, next topic is entropy. What is entropy? <clears throat> Empirically, it is defined as. If we add or subtract any heat from the system at temperature T, its entropy changes by this much amount. This is the change in entropy. This is the amount of heat exchange is the absolute temperature at which the heat transfer takes place. So obviously, <clears throat> we're talking about some initial stages and final stages, entropy at final stage minus entropy at initial stage is given as Final stage. <clears throat> now, certain facts about entropy. Entropy can be created, but not destroyed. Yeah. <clears throat> it is some sort of disorder in the system. If there is some disorder in the system, <clears throat> you cannot set it right. Next topic is we talk about heat engines. <clears throat> in general, Efficiency of a heat engine 
theta <coughs> is given as work done by the engine over heat supplied to the engine. Okay, let's say different type of engines. First engine is R0 cycle. What is a Carnot cycle? <clears throat> if we plot on a PV chart, we start from a process A, which is P1, P1, T1. It goes to point B, which is P2. T2 <clears throat> and it goes to C, which is and then it goes to And then it goes from here to A to B, B to C, C to D, and D to A. Now there are certain conditions about current characteristics of current cycle, which is process A to B. is isothermal expansion. If it is isothermal expansion, so this T1, <clears throat> Since it is isothermal, this becomes <clears throat> T1. Okay. Now, what about process BC? Process BC is adiabatic expansion. Since the volume is <clears throat> increasing and Pressure is coming down, so this process is an adiabatic expansion. So from T1, it goes to let us say T2. Then C D is isothermal compression. because <clears throat> this volume is decreasing and <clears throat> pressure is increasing. So this is a compression. This is, this is taking place at isothermal condition. So <clears throat> this temperature will be same as this temperature. And we can write this as T2. DA is again adiabatic compression because from here <clears throat> the volume is continuously decreasing and pressure is increasing. So it's an adiabatic compression. And here it this completes the loop. So for a coordinate cycle, efficiency is given as T 
whereas T2 is the temperature of cold body. in degree k <clears throat> and this is the absolute temperature of hot body in degree k. Let's uh, take the case of a refrigerator. What we have, refrigerator is basically a heating unit. Very we, we can do work by, by means of electric compressor. We have our cold zone in the refrigerator from where heat is taken out, let us say it is Q2, and it is thrown out in the surrounding which is called hot reserve fire. And let us say a amount of Q2 heat is given out. This is maintained at temperature T1. This is maintained at temperature T2. In this case, from first law, Q1 is equal to Q2 minus W. And efficiency of a refrigerator is given as Q2 by WL. W we know it can be also written as so this is the efficiency of a refrigerator. We will know Q1 over T1 is equal to Q2 over T2. We could imply that Coefficient of performance but if this is not Q1, you see Q2 there is Q1. This is Q2, this is Q1. <clears throat> also, this is here, yeah, this is not a negative sign, this is Q2 plus W. Now, as opposed to refrigerator, if we take another engine, wherein Instead of giving heat to this work to the system, the system performs some work. And this is our hot reservoir. Heat is taken from the heat reservoir, Q1, and is given to the cold.
and q2 amount of heat is given to cold reservoir. <clears throat> and then obviously q1 is equal to and <clears throat> Efficiency eta is known as so this is the case <clears throat> opposite to refrigerator. <clears throat> 